uh, let it be that gut reflex. It should be that gut reflex because it's uh, it'll be honest. And I think we're all so warmed up and in it that it's just gonna, it's gonna fire out amazing. All right, so. In the future, I am excited to blank. I'm not gonna wait to the future. I'm gonna to do it today, <laughs> but I'm excited to continuously live life uh, as if I'm ready, I'm, I'm gonna go tomorrow. Tell my grandkids that grandma had a disease once that is now cured and prevented with one pill. I'm excited to continue to help other help other young people and especially survivors and um, before they fall in that dark pit which you know a lot of us fell into because we didn't know anyone to be there like right when they're diagnosed and like catch them before they fall and be like you know I've been through this come with me. I'm excited to um, inspire others and help people who are going through something similar that I went through. I am excited to open my business idea and completely marry the shit out of my fiance Adolfo and seriously looking forward to the idea of IVF kids. I'm going to keep it short. I'm excited to make change to the future. So there's a really solid balance being struck here and the idea of you make the best quality that you can for life but is that necessarily reflected by feeling like you live under the gun where it's like borrowed time. You know, if somebody were to watch my life on TV, would they be bored? Would they want to change the channel? It's just like, you know, if I were to die tomorrow, I don't want to, I don't want my life to be one of those things where it's just like, ah, this is boring, this is stupid, I'm changing the channel. I want there to be excitement, I want there to be laughter, I want there to be tears. I'd rather have my movie be like Avengers or Iron Man, get stuck in a cave somewhere and then come out with an arc reactor or something. Like I want, some, I want something interesting. I think for the first time, I feel um, a complete peace with myself right now. We've all gone through this diagnosis. We were, I'm sure some of us were very close to, you know, leaving this world. Um, and I can truthfully say that if I were to go tomorrow, I'd be okay with it. I'd be happy with it. And, you know, that's not to say that there aren't many things that I want to do. There's, I have a huge bucket list, but I think that I've done a very good job with what I've had. And uh, my goal is to continuously feel that way every day for the rest of my life. Love is you and me, only I can make you my life is incomplete Only I can make you You're not over me Only I can make you feel right Your life is incomplete Only I can make you You, 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 you girl only